Hello there. Welcome to this relatively short tutorial on how to add e-commerce capabilities to any old Gatsby site. For this demonstration I am using Stackbit to handle the overall project. This includes the handy widget you can see on screen now. Stackbit links the Gatsby site to my GitHub, Netlify and Forestry.io accounts to make the whole process even smoother. The first thing we need to do is open up our CMS, Forestry in our case, and add some basic information about our new exciting product. I have just cleared out a page and added some information about my world changing new product. The Ginger Cat. Once we have saved the changes, and Stackbit has rebuilt the site, we just need to refresh the page to see our super attractive product page. Now it is time to add the brains behind the e-commerce, my brains to be precise. We will be using my Gatsby Snipcart v3 plugin which you can find either on the Gatsby plugin library or on npm. I now want you to open the project your favorite editor, in my case Atom. When in here we first need to add the Gatsby Snipcart plugin to the package.json file. If you're not sure how you can just copy the format of the surrounding plugins. Now go to your config.json file and add the plugin in the same format as the other ones. You can get the exact format and additional options on the plugin page. For this plugin to work you will need to add your Snipcart API key, in our case, our test API key. Oops I nearly forgot that you need to add the URL containing your products page to the domains and URLs tab. My bad. Now back to the API key. This can be found on the right of your Snipcart dashboard under the API keys tab. When here just copy the big massive key in the middle of the screen, you can't go wrong. Well I mean you can, but you shouldn't. Once you have the key, keep it save and add it to your config.json file. Save that puppy then don't forget to git commit and git push so the magic stack bit fairies can make the changes live on your site. The inner workings of the plugin are now embedded in your site but your customers have no way of actually buying your ginger kitties, so we will need to add a buy button infused with Snipcart magic in order for this to happen. Head back over to your CMS and reopen the raw editor of the product page. In here we need to add a button code, however it is not as easy as that. Snipcart is as good as it is because it allows you to turn any HTML item into a product, to do this it uses a very specific set of skills, I mean data, to achieve this. The first is the ID of the product, in my case, Ginger Cat. Next is price, and since cats are priceless I've added a large tag to my kitty. The data URL is very important and often trips people up. This needs to be URL of where the product lives on your site. The remaining tags of decryption, image and name are all up to you. Go crazy you little tyke. When you refresh the page you should see the button to buy the kitty cat. But wait. It's not over yet. Snipcart is not aware of your deals on top-notch ginger cats. You need to copy the page URL and take it over to the products section of your Snipcart dashboard. Click fetch, insert the URL into the field, and enter. Snipcart is now aware of your product. If you head back to your site and click the product button you will be greeted with a Snipcart version 3 cart. Very nice. Let's test the checkout process shall we? Enter your customer details and then click the payment button. Since we are in test mode here, you are told of the fake card details you can enter to make the transaction go through, but not spend millions of real monies on a cat.
after a successful payment you will be taken to the thank you page. That's one expensive kitty. If you head over to your Snipcart dashboard and refresh it, you will indeed see that some maniac has spent $5 billion on a cat. Thanks for watching, I am the grappling dev, enjoyed the music.